what has been reported on is the potential for standing up existing sites. Now, we can confirm that uh, a, a mission has come in from FEMA. Certainly not prepared under any circumstances to, and I guess I'm not getting off on the right foot with any of you talk, timeline, budget, or number of soldiers. Um, and that should actually be uh, to you a sign of how seriously we are treating this. Because these types of requests, we are certainly putting through the same levels of analysis under Secretary Austin's direction that we would for any other type of allocation of soldiers. Um, but certainly it, it is something that we are taking extraordinarily seriously. The Secretary has made this absolutely clear. We have to move further, we have to move faster, we have to be as bold as possible, all the while remembering that it is our utmost prerogative to protect and defend the United States at home as well as abroad. Shalom, I give out and the growing praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rakaq Wadash, I give double honors to our apostles and elders, great millstone, salutations to our to say Aki and pushing this word across the four corners of the world. This is an article from NewsTarget.com and the title says, Biden orders troops to administer C-19 vaccines in California as military is repurposed for a genocide. This was published on February the 9th, 2021. The Biden regime is deploying more than a thousand active duty troops across the country to help medical workers plunge C-19 needles into America's arms at a faster pace. Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin gave the military the green light to begin vaccinating people starting on February 15th in California. After that, troops will be sent to other states to work the jobs elsewhere. The military's critical role in supporting sites will help vaccinate thousands of people per day and ensure that every American who wants a vaccine will receive them, said Biden C-19 Response Team Senior Advisor Andy Slavitt to reporters. According to CNBC, Bitformer, operating under Trump's Operation Warp Speed program, has distributed some 57.1 million vaccine doses. Only about 35.2 million doses, or roughly 61% of the total available supply, have been jabbed into people's bodies. The 1,110 active duty service members will compose five teams and involve units from the Army, Navy, Air Force, and Marine Corps. According to the Department of Defense, writes CNBC's Berkeley Lovelace Jr., the troops will include nurses and medical staff who will help administer Pfizer's and Moderna's two dose vaccines, according to the agency. The Defense Production Act has also been executed to help Pfizer meet the manufacturing targets for its vaccine. The company recently announced plans to deliver 200 million doses of its job to the U.S. by May, two months earlier than its earlier forecast of July. So as you see through the spirit, Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahushai is putting that rush upon these elites of the tabernacle of Edom to go ahead and try to urge in this new world order or this great reset. And here's the point right here. The Pentagon is reportedly conspiring with the Federal Emergency Management Agency, FEMA, to send another 9,000 troops for a total of around 10,000 throughout the nation to really get the process going at warp speed. So as you can see, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai is speeding things up concerning biblical prophecies. And he's putting that urge upon these elites of the tabernacle of Edom to go ahead and urge in this new world order, this global transformation. And all this links up with biblical prophecy according to the book of Revelation, the 12th chapter and the 17th verse, as it says, and the dragon was wroth with the woman. And that dragon represents these elites of the tabernacle of Edom going to this ancient pagan Roman empire which is that fourth beast mentioned in the book of Daniel. And now that fourth beast came, that little horn represents America, known as Babylon the Great. If you want to just put this all in a spiritual nutshell, all this goes right back to the blessing between Jacob and Esau. How we have that blessing of everlasting rulership, life, sovereignty, and the inhabitants of the nation of Edom they want to overthrow that biblical prophecy and take us out the way. So that's why they keep going into this enterprise, mentioning the book of Joel, the fifth chapter, how they want to succeed in it. And they keep talking about this great reset. 
because they want to put the children of Israel first and foremost into slavery. And yet all the children of Israel microchip because, and they actually believe in their minds, if they do that or try to achieve it, then the Heavenly Father will no longer deal with us as a nation, as his people again. Then that means they can stay in rulership forever. But that's how these elites think. They really think they can overthrow Yahweh by Shem Yahushua's prophecies because they've been in power so long and that pride has just been building up more and more. But at the same time, that great pride they have is going to be that great downfall as well. So through this article, as it says, Biden orders troops to administer C-19 vaccines in California as military is repurposed for genocide. So normally how they do this, they start in these larger states first, such as New York or California. Then they'll trickle their way on down throughout the states. Those are like their main testing centers, those two main states right there. Which leads me to Revelation, the 12th chapter and the 12th verse. Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down to you having great wrath. And that same devil is representing the nation of Edom. That's why the scriptures refer to them as that old serpent called the devil and Satan. So the spiritual demon Satan has a physical counterpart on this earth that does the energy of Satan after the working of Satan, as it mentioned in the book of 2 Thessalonians. And that's talking about the tabernacle of Edom. So therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you having great wrath, because he knoweth that he had but a short time. So the spirit hit me to look up this word great and wrath in the Greek. So first, I'm going to get the word wrath. Strong's G 2372. Thumas. Thumas. So Thumas is the word for wrath. This goes into how these elites, how they're going to come down with our people first and foremost, the children of Israel, which are you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and how they're going to be very passionate with that indignation, with that wrath. And that's going to be the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahushua upon these elites of the tabernacle of Edom on that left-hand side. So for the definition, it says passion, angry, heat, anger for with boiling up, and soon society again. It says glow, ardor, the wine of passion, and flaming wine, which either drives the drinker mad or kills him with his strength. So you know how when a person gets mad, they say they see nothing but red? So that's how boiling up these elites are going to be with their military to come down on us as the children of Israel with that great wrath. So Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, he's going to unleash that ancient hatred that Esau had for our forefather Jacob. As it says in the book of Genesis, the 27th chapter, when Esau found out that Jacob supplanted him for the blessing, was going to have that everlasting life, the kingdom of heaven. And what was that phrase that Esau stated? The days of mourning for my father are at hand, then will I slay my brother Jacob. So that same spirit is still upon these elites of the tabernacle of Edom. They still haven't forgotten about that blessing. And that's why they're doing all these things throughout the world, causing these so-called pandemics, these false flags. All this is going through that global transformation so they can go ahead and overtake us and inherit that blessing. So he's going to be like a madman sparing none, as the scriptures say. So now let's get the word great in the same book and chapter in Revelation the 12th, chapter in the 12th verse. And this is the Greek word. Strong's G, 3173, Megas. 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 And to get to the point, right here it says great things, and it says of God's preeminent blessings. When you go to the word preeminent, from the animal and online goes into superior beyond others to rise above. And that's that blessing that the Heavenly Father Yahweh put the spear upon our forefather Isaac to bless Esau with. And that main blessing he was going to have was that blessing of the sword. So that's why you see him so advanced with his weaponry, his nuclear technology, his science, dealing with this biological warfare, because that's that blessing that the Heavenly Father Yahweh bestowed upon him on that left-hand side. 
So it says of God's preeminent blessings. So that's a cut for any one of our people who think they can take this so-called white man down in a physical manner. Because what you're doing, you're really going against your how about Shem Yahushua because you're overstepping the biblical prophecies. You have to let things ride out. So there's no way that you can be able to take this so-called white man down in these type of bodies. So this same word, magos, in the Greek, links right up with the book of Revelation, it's this chapter in the fourth verse. And it says, and there went out another horse that was red, talking about the nation of Edom, and that horse represents power. And power was given to him that set there on to take peace from the earth. And you see that with all these different policies, legislations, how you go to another country and take their resources. They set up all these central banks in the countries that they seize, all in the name of democracy. So he's taking that peace from the earth. And just look how low of a frequency that this earth is. He cuts down all the trees in a process called deforestation, where it's making all the people sick, the animals are sick. So this whole vibration of the earth is in a mournful state because the earth is a spirit as well. This whole earth is supposed to be paradise. And by this earth is given to the hand of the wicked, he has made his place a living hell. So that's how he's taking peace from the earth. And that they should kill one another, and that was given to him a great sword. So again, you go right back into the Greek. For this particular verse, Revelation 6, chapter in the fourth verse, and for a great it's that same word right here, megas, which goes into of God's preeminent blessings. And that's why these elites of the tabernacle of Edom are so headstrong to forge this new world order, this global reset. Because they want to overstep biblical prophecies and to inherit that blessing, which goes into the kingdom of heaven. Whereas they will stay in rulership forever and everybody beneath them will be enslaved. So part of Esau's preeminent blessings from the Most High goes into that great sword. And he's really going to utilize this great sword in these upcoming days and months. And we believe through the Spirit it's going to be this year. And this is Isaiah, the 10th chapter in the 5th verse. O Assyrian, the ride of my anger, and the modern day Assyrian is representing the tabernacle of Edom. And the staff in their hand is my indignation. And that staff goes into like a pillar or something to support firmly on. So the tabernacle of Edom, beginning with these elites, had the support system of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai on their left hand side. The Most High has used Esau to be that whipping stick upon the children of Israel. So it says, O Assyrian, the rod of my anger and the staff in their hand is my indignation. So the reason why he's going to come down with that great wrath and he's going to be like a madman sparing none. That's really the judgment coming from Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. He's just programming his left hand to his vessel of dishonor, the tabernacle of Edom, to fulfill his will, to implement this so called new world order of theirs. Verse 6 I will send him against a hypocritical nation, meaning two thirds of the nation of Israel, who acts like they want to be about the Bible, about following the ways of the Heavenly Father, these so called churchgoers of our people. When you actually tell them the truth of the scriptures, they are nothing but actors. So they're not really about the true ways of the Heavenly Father through His Son, Yahweh Shai. So that's a hypocritical people. And against the people of my wrath, will I give him a charge? And this is how Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is making his power known, as it says in the book of Romans, the ninth chapter and the 22nd verse. The vessels of wrath fitted for destruction. And that's going into the Most High's left hand sword, the tabernacle of Edom. Going right back to the word megas in the Greek, which means of God's preeminent blessings. So it says, and against the people of my wrath, will I give him a charge to take the spoil and take the prey and to tread them down like the mire of the streets. So as I brought out through the spirit on this lesson, those biblical prophecies ties right in with this article right here. As it says in 2nd Ezra, the ninth chapter, measured out of time diligently in itself. This is how Esau is wetting his tongue like a sword, as it says in the book of Psalm, the 64th chapter. 
He's getting more severe, more harsh by pushing those draconian measures on these people. And he wants everybody to bow down and worship his image of the beast, all in the name of science. And that's why they keep pushing out that negative vibration on the mainstream news, just trusting to the science. Which is ultimately going into this microchip being implemented throughout the whole world, which is the mark of the beast. So remember that Esau goes by gradualism, and he's that serpent according to the scriptures. So any characteristics of that serpent, they can wait patiently upon their prey. And throughout this article, Biden's senior advisor stated, the military's crucial role in supporting sites will help vaccinate thousands of people per day and ensure that every American who wants a vaccine will receive them. So they're still making it seem like it's your option, it's your choice. But Esau is going to turn up a notch due to this gradualism He's going to start enforcing people to receive these vaccines. And that's exactly where these military troops come in hand at. So, Lord willing, you always edified. Y'all stay strong. Shalom.